Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Little Predator from Tomo Quads. New micro drone for 2 inch props. I got the Gem Fan 2035 props on here. 1104 7500 KV motors. Uh, I've got the uh, Furry B F3 fly tower, which is the Omnibus F3 flight controller, and a 4 in 1 10 amp ESC. We've got a uh, RX 2A fly sky receiver in the back here, and a Runcam Swift Micro. I also have a, a hacked uh, 25 milliwatt video transmitter here. And then checking the weight here, we're coming in at about a little over 72 grams. So this definitely was one of the easiest uh, builds recently. Uh, it only took me about an hour to put this together. Uh, the key is to get the Furry B fly tower here. And I already did a video on this guy. I'll put a card in the corner if you want to see how that's put together. It actually comes pre-assembled. The only thing I did was I uh, took off the GST connector and soldered on a XT30. And the way you put this together is I just flipped the uh, power cube over and I soldered my motors on underneath. So you can see the motor wires go underneath the 4-in-1 uh, ESC. And once you do that then I just attach the main plate to the cube using four screws on the bottom. Uh, which you can't really see. They're under the they're under the rubber bands here, and there's there's the one, one of the four screws right there. So after you've uh, mounted the motors and the power cube to the main plate, you build up the uh, little pod here, which is a little top plate here, and then two side plates. And that's pretty easy to do. This slide in. Um, you have to use these standoffs here to hold the, the pod together and it holds the uh, microswift in place. Um, if you want to use less of these you can because they do weigh about a gram each for the standoff and the two screws. I, uh, I'm going to be running 3S in this so I'm not too concerned about the weight too much. And if you want to use an all-in-one camera instead of the microswift you have to move the standoffs in the front here and you sandwich the camera in between the two standoffs for the all-in-one camera. Otherwise the Microsoft just screws into the side here. There's an adjustable slider here. You can move back and forth and also adjust your angle. Now the video transmitter I'm using here is just a the video transmitter off of a uh, one of those all-in-one cameras from the QX95. I just uh, was one that I destroyed the camera on so I just cut the camera off and uh, connected the Microsoft to this instead. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on how to do that, let me know. Um, it's actually not that difficult. But uh, I have a whole bunch of these 25 milliwatt all-in-one cameras sitting around now. So I'm going to be sort of, instead of buying a bunch of VTX-02s or VTX-03s, I'm just going to repurpose these and get rid of the cameras and use the Microsofts or the Micro Airs instead and connect them to these video transmitters. So once you've uh, built the pod up, you've got your camera installed and your video transmitter, and your receiver. You just have to hook up the connections on the flight controller and a little hard to see here. It's a little bit hard to get into focus but basically you have uh, your connections for power and your video in and video out for the OSD and then you got your three wires over there for your receiver. And that's pretty much it for the connections. So that's pretty much it for the build. It's actually really easy. Uh, once you get your motor uh, soldered onto the power cube and mounted to the main plate, uh, just putting together the, your FPV system on whatever you've got, an all-in-one or a Microsoft with a video transmitter, put that together and then connect it up to your flight controller. Uh, if you don't have an OSD, obviously all you need is power, so it's, it's actually very, very simple to set up. So the Omnibus F3 flight controller has Betaflight 3.1.7 flashed on there. I'm going to be starting off with these uh, default PIDs and we will probably adjust them as I do some flights. I will put a CLI dump in the description if you guys are interested in the PIDs. But uh, flashing that, the board and uh, doing the configuration is not much different from any of the other builds I've done. So if you really want to see that, just watch one, watch one of my other videos um, and then you'll see how I flash it and also do the configuration. There's really not a whole lot that's uh, going on there that's different. In fact, it's exactly the same. Anyway, so I'll go ahead and I'll give this a fly and I'll show you some flight footage of this. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this and I'll talk to you guys later.
Thank you.